It's a new month. November means Christmas is just around the corner and it comes with the Hamatan haze. You may have noticed that already and the rain. So keep your umbrellas closed just in case. It's also pouring on the art scene, a rain of colors at the Nikkei Art Gallery in Lagos. And guess whose works went under the hammer during the art auction by Art House Contemporary? I'll give you the answers in a moment. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Welcome to Art House. If readers only bring a narrow range of themselves to the book, then they'll only see their narrow range reflected in it. It's one of the prestigious events on the arts calendar. Artists, especially in Lagos, always endeavor to put their best foot forward Every time is showtime, where in November, but the October Rain Exhibition is a remarkable event that the art community always looks forward to. Open House is a theme of the mother of all exhibition in the Lagos visual arts scene. It's a big deal for the artists who have everything to prove. the 17th annual jury the exhibition of the Lagos chapter October Rain with the team Open House. We were able to exhibit the stratification of the society. Uh, we had the fellows, we had the master members, we had the full members, the associate members, all exhibiting for the first time in their various categories. So I think that's the beauty of today's exhibition. Here you have seen the aura of um, different works, uh, different um, uh, uh, innovations, uh, different um, media, uh, different genres, and um, particularly um, some new things that are coming on the art landscape of this country. So it's been very, very wonderful. Uh, the artists have actually worked so hard, and so uh, their products are now uh, placed on the art gallery, uh, which is the market, so to say, uh, and um, it's been wonderful. So it didn't just rain, it poured colors and thundered chiseled wonders that left the audience breathless. But can one expect anything less? Considering the screening process rather rigorous, all the works of art in this hall go through a panel of eagle eyes before it's showtime. This is an exhibition I'm very proud about because uh, it's the exhibition of the Lagos State Chapter of Society of Nigerian Artists and it first took place in 2008 and since then they've sustained it up to 2015 so it's something I'm really proud that the Lagos chapter has been able to sustain all these years of course you can see from the multiplicity of works available the sheer breadth of talent abound in Lagos you can see a lot of new emerging talents that are part of this exhibition that just shows that there's so much richness in Nigerian arts there's so much from where this is coming from and with the Society of Nigerian Artists which is a platform for all practicing visual artists in Nigeria, the best is still yet to come. We need to, as artists, uh, to be in our studio most times, but where, what becomes of the product of the studio? So there is a process and there is a product. So the product is what we are showing today as artists, generally. Uh, this um, show uh, has to do, uh, has to uh, it takes us to the level of cooperation you know, amongst artists. Uh, as artists, we need to cooperate together uh, to let our invention or our innovation be known to the public. And that's what has been brought up this um, show today. Um, the Society of Nigerian Artists have executives and they have different committees that work together to put this show together. So every year, uh, Nikkei Art Gallery hosts us uh, to show the creativity of uh, the high, uh, the middle, the low, the budding, the imagined, and the made artists in, in Nigeria, particularly in Lagos State. The old hands had their day, and the younger minds had their say with 50 works of art that speak volumes about the ingenuity of the Nigerian artists. Uh, the exhibition featured over 100 artists uh, with master members, fellow members, and also guest artists in, in participation. 
Uh, it's one of the annual events of the society that we all look forward to. Historically, it started uh, with the Independence Day exhibition and we've had it going on since then. The Nike Art Gallery lights up with art of all sorts and one of the brains behind the show explains why it was tagged an open house. You know, the works are of higher quality this year and I think that's because uh, the theme for this year was made open house, which means that each artist is supposed to come with his best work, you know, not just giving them a theme to walk around. So I think he brought out the best in everybody. Well, the way forward is to keep partnering with the private sector. The way forward is, is to gain more government support. It's almost as if uh, the government is looking to other ways, you know, to fund our economy. But I believe that it's about time that the government begins to look more inroads, to look more into our visual arts with a, the with a hope of harnessing the rich potential that the visual arts can contribute to Nigeria's society. From the normal... My work is um, titled Nike, and there is a relief uh, kind of sculpture made out of metal. And um, I'm inspired by some burglary proof I see, you know, being done with uh, conventional designs, uh, which I also do most of the time as well. But I felt that we should take it further than that, you know, by incorporating some um, art, I mean artistic um, concept into it, so that it doesn't just look like uh, the conventional thing. It should be something that we, when we wake up in the morning, we feel, we look, we try to look at it, and they get some uh, kind of uh, lifting spirit. To the extraordinary. My work this year in October rain is titled uh, Season 55. And uh, it's all about uh, the national kick and talking about corruption in Nigeria. If you can look at the work carefully, you see the way the national kick has been devoured by so called government. Uh, people that are in government affairs and so. So the work is uh, basically done with uh, waste materials. You understand? And uh, for me, corruption, corruption to me means waste. It's waste of uh, natural resources, our uh, fund, natural fund, and mismanagement of so many other things. So if you look at the piece carefully, you see the way the ants have devoured the cake, the so-called national cake. My idea is uh, for calling it season 55 is that Nigeria is 55 this year, and every year and every uh, every year we keep having independence like we normally do, and it comes in different season with different titles such as uh, June 12, the Nas uh, Independence Day, and so many events that happen in Nigeria. But this is just to bring it uh, into a 3D format so that people will see how corruption has eaten deep into Nigerian society. Because uh, it's, many people have been talking about corruption, corruption, corruption. Many of them are in 2D, like in the surface, uh, maybe the artist painting about uh, corruption. But as, as a sculptor, I wanted to bring it out so that people will feel it. People can touch it, people can go around it and see how the national cake has been devoured through corruption and waste of a uh, national fund. Uh, my work, The Wheel of Fortune, uh, has to do with every individual on earth. Uh, there is a point for you. And so the wheel is a wheel. There are low times, there are high times, there are seasons, you know, different seasons of man. And so that work is shown there. Uh, you see f there are some bright times, there are some bright uh, colors in the work. There are some low colors, there are even some dark colors. So it's philosophical that as a man, one is bound to experience this season all through life. You know, there are times when the time is low, there are times when the time is high, there are times when it is medium. But every individual, according to that work, every individual has that specifics of time, you know, and that is what I'm trying to uh, drive out from that work. At least these artists can beat their chest and say they came, they saw and they conquered. Need I say more? You saw the works of art yourself. Hit me online and tell me your thoughts about them. You can send it to my Twitter handle at Melinda Akilami or Facebook. Up next, 
This next feature is also something everyone is always anxious about. I'll tell you more about it when we return in a moment, so don't go anywhere. She is one of the foremost writers on African women, a scholar, critic, educator, and activist. She graduated BA English Honours as the first Nigerian with a first-class degree from the University of London. She later earned a doctorate in narratology, the theory of narrative, from Leiden University, one of the oldest universities in Europe. <laughs> 